Greetings and salutations, I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 12 of I Create Content. I want to thank you for joining me today. It's Friday, time to kick off the weekend. If you watched Wednesday's episode, we were talking about understanding blend modes inside of Photoshop. Today, I've just got a quick tip for you because I've got to get on the road. Got Photo Pro Summer School this weekend, got the Designer Developer Conference next weekend. So, I'm going to be really busy. Uh, I am going to do what I can to try and see if I can release some episodes next week. But I do want to give you a heads up. I might be on a week hiatus because I'm trying right now to get the rig all set up to go on the road and we're having a couple technical difficulties. So if I do miss you next week, next week, don't worry, I'll be back on the 18th for sure with new episodes, okay? So today I just got a quick tip related to history and tracking changes you make in Photoshop. Let's take a quick look. All right, you can see here building out a uh, new splash page for the Facebook page. Hope to have that up later today or next week. And what I wanted to show you is in Photoshop, if you go to the file menu, you can go to File Info. And there's lots of information that you can put in your document. So here you can see I've entered some descriptive information saying it's copyrighted. I have all these fields that I can actually add pertinent information. Now this is really useful if you're actually exchanging files with clients. So not only am I using this in my Photoshop PSD, but we use the same data inside a Lightroom if you're actually going to exchange photographs or images with your clients, right? So file, file info is where I go to edit this in Photoshop. But I want to show you specifically the history tab, right? If you're someone who wants to track the things that you've actually done in Photoshop, you can't remember what filter you used, or more specifically, you remember the filter, but you don't remember the settings, there's an item here inside of Photoshop, a preference that you can change that will track all that in the file. So let me go ahead and I will get out of this dialog box. And if you go to your preferences, which is Command K, or Control K on a PC, in the Photoshop preferences, we have a check called History Log. Now, what you want to do is check metadata because this will write to the individual Photoshop file, and you want to set the logging to be detailed to give you the most information. If you check text file, this will write a single text file for every single Photoshop document you open. So I do advise it's better to check metadata. So I'm going to go ahead and do metadata detailed. I'll click OK. And now if I make some changes, I'll just run a couple filters real quick. I'm just going to pick some crazy option here. Click OK. And let me move that so you can see what I'm doing. Hey, right here, I'll click OK. And now I've got this crazy filter. If I go up to File and File Info, in the history, you can see I used an effect called Plastic Wrap. I did a highlight strength of 2, detail 9, smoothness number 7. So there I have all the info. Every time I open up this file, it's going to write that data out. Every time I create or open a new file in Photoshop, it's going to track all my steps, the layers I name, the layers I delete, how I rearrange things. So that's a great way to keep track of your projects. This is Quick Tip Friday. I'm AJ Wood. As always, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave me comments on Facebook. See me on Twitter, and I will catch you guys next week.